Hi, I'm Adrian, and today I'm going to show you five simple travel photography tips that'll help improve your shots. You spend your hard-earned cash travelling to locations around the globe. The least you can do is come home with photos you can be proud of and look back on in years to come with fond memories. Using these five travel photography tips, I can guarantee your travel photos will take on a whole new look. Today I'm on location in the world's largest privately owned lavender farm here in Tasmania, Australia. And I'm not going to be using any sort of professional gear. Instead, what I'm going to be doing is using your average point and shoot camera and iPhone just to prove you can get great travel photos with any sort of camera. Bokeh can give that pleasing aesthetic quality to your photos. Using a wide aperture, macro or portrait mode setting on your phone or camera, you're able to grab professional looking shots like these. The trick to remember with bokeh is to have good separation distance between your main subject and background. Using the rule of thirds means that the subject isn't centred in the image, which is how many that are starting photography frame their shots. Using the rule of thirds draws the viewer's eye into the entire framing of your shot instead of just glancing at the centre. Getting a low angle shot can create a whole new look and feel to your framing. I use low angles a lot when shooting architecture. It can also add perspective using lead in lines to draw attention to your main subject or person you're photographing. In low light situations you may need to use a flash, but using a direct flash can give that, mm, let's say, deer caught in the headlights look. Ugh, okay, that is not pretty. Instead, I opt to either bounce or diffuse my flash so it gives a much more subtle pleasing light that fills in the shadows nicely. A little trick I use is the back of a business card which is white. I tilt the flash up and place the business card white side against the flash so it reflects onto the subject. It's a simple easy method but the results can look great. You're in the Grand Canyon or on a glacier, in a desert or in an enchanted forest. Huge landscapes can be further emphasised when you add a subject that gives scale to your photo. What could be an ordinary looking shot can be transformed into an extraordinary shot because now you can see how a person's or object's size compares to the expanse around them. So that just goes to show you don't need expensive camera gear to get great travel photos. By just using those five simple travel photography tips, you'll have fantastic photos to show your friends and family or share on the gram. My final tip is this. When you're traveling, you need to keep one thing in mind with your photos. You want to capture shots that encapsulate the essence and spirit of the location you're experiencing. For example, you're in Venice, Italy. You might want a shot that includes a gondola. But try to be creative. Get different angles, maybe a section of the gondola, looking from the gondola itself, or a group of gondolas using perspective. Thanks so much for watching. I sincerely hope these travel photography tips help you out on your adventures. Well, if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. Always feel free to subscribe to my channel for more great tips, and I'll see you next time. What? You sound like Jamie Oliver. <laughs> I suppose I do sound a bit like Jamie Oliver. Using these five simple travel photography tips, I'll guarantee your travel photos will take on a whole new look.